I'm Stephen Benoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. We are dealing with breaking news coming out of Eastern Europe uh, from the Ukraine, and it is inevitable that a third world war is at the door. It is at the door here in Eastern Europe. We're going to kind of cap off some different information and, and give you some of our own thoughts of what we think will, will transpire as these e events develop. But uh, in uh, TASS uh, news, uh, Russian news, they are reporting that Ukraine plans to regain control over Donbass uh, by all means, according to Prime Minister Yatsenyuk, uh, who is the Ukrainian Prime Minister that was placed in there after <clears throat> the former Russian uh, Prime Minister was forced out uh, by gunpoint. Uh, according to the article here, it says, uh, Ukraine intends to restore peace and regain control over the southeastern Donbass region all, by all means, Prime Minister uh, Arseny uh, Yatsenyuk said on Wednesday. He said local elections should be held in the, in the uh, Donetsk uh, and uh, Luhansk regions. The elections should be honest and democratic, otherwise they are, are useless, the Prime Minister said. <clears throat> uh, Lavrov calls Kiev's decision on Donbass special status gross violation of the Minsk agreement. According to the Minsk agreement on February 12th, uh, there was to be self-autonomy for eastern Ukraine for the Russians there. Uh, and it seems that Russia is, is willing to go along with that, but it is quite uh, obvious that now that uh, the Ukrainian people, as far as the uh, west part of Ukraine, has NATO support, and the United States, along with 11 NATO allies, are sending lethal weapons and training into Kiev, it is very obvious that Europe and the United States are willing to engage in a war with Russia. It won't be just the, uh, the uh, separatists who are, who are fighting for uh, self-autonomy in, in the Donbass region, but it will literally turn into an all-out war with Russia. Uh, there's other reports, too, that Russia is definitely setting, uh, stepping up its own um, uh, military uh, activities in uh, the eastern parts of uh, Europe, uh, including, including Latvia, which we know Latvia recently received uh, a, a bunch of tanks from the United States uh, to include in its own arsenal as the United States is beefing up all the different eastern European countries uh, in order to engage in a battle with Russia. Uh, and as we know, Russia has already stated that if it feels that it is threatened, even from conventional warfare uh, that is not going in their own favor, they will use nuclear weapons. Uh, let me read to you this here. This is from the Moscow Times. It says, NATO fighter jets intercept Russian planes over the Baltic. Uh, this was reported by Latvia. It said, NATO has been forced to scramble fighter jets to intercept, intercept half a dozen Russian planes flying over the Baltic Sea. The, the Latvian military said Wednesday, uh, NATO Typhoon fighter jets on Tuesday intercepted seven Russian aircraft. The uh, Latvian military said on its Twitter page, including four Su-27s, two AN-26 jets, and an AN-12 jet. Latvia said in a separate tweet that it uh, had also spotted three Russian Kilo-class submarines, supported uh, sub-support, sub -sub and hydrographic vessels just 30 nautical miles or 55 kil kilometers outside of Latvia's territorial waters on Wednesday. The report comes a day after a Latvian military identified a Russian naval ship just 28 nautical miles from Latvia's territorial waters, and two days after it reported two Russian Kilo-class submarines at least 27 nautical miles from its naval coast, according to the Twitter post. Russia has escalated its naval activity on its western frontier in recent months. Earlier this week, Russia's northern fleet was put into full combat readiness uh, for a series of military drills, a move interpreted as a response to simultaneous military exercise held in Norway. Of course, NATO is also conducting military exercise in the Black Sea. We are aware of this as well. And it, it appears to be that uh, one of the things that Russia may do once this war begins uh, over Ukraine is that Russia may even launch an invasion on the United States. It would be something that would certainly catch the United States off guard because it's quite obvious the U.S. is trying to keep the battle away from their own border. Uh, in, in the European stage. It keeps America safer that way, but Russia could, and in fact, uh, attack the United States from a different angle, 
uh, in order to draw the attention away from Europe. And of course, at that moment, uh, or even beforehand, we may see that Iran will uh, get Hezbollah to engage Israel uh, from both uh, the Lebanon and the Syrian borders because uh, Israel's ally, the United States, will be quite preoccupied with the fight against Russia in Europe. This is one of the reasons why we see that World War III is inevitable. And quite frankly, it is interesting that what the Obama administration will do to keep the American dollar from collapsing during their own administration. Uh, they're willing to start wars, uh, create conflict, and just really spread this all over. But uh, no doubt they're not worried because the Vatican would like to see the New World Order get started right away, and the, and the Vatican will be the financier of a New World Order. And this is one reason why NATO and the United States are willing to fight any battle that the Vatican declares is needful at this time. And it's quite obvious that the Vatican was the push behind uh, the coup in Ukraine. And, uh, and certainly uh, Russia has stepped in, uh, even though they have been to the Vatican to, to, to show their own allegiance to the Vatican. But uh, it, it is quite clear that it is not as rosy as it appears to be. And Russia also has put in anti-missile batteries in uh, Crimea. Uh, they have uh, strengthened a tremendous amount of military uh, buildup in Crimea because they realize that naturally if Ukraine is planning on going back to the Donbass region and trying to take control of all of Ukraine, they eventually will also want to take Crimea back as well. This is one reason why Russia is not going to back down. In fact, it is going to escalate. And it appears to be that this may spread beyond the borders of Ukraine, especially in the case of Latvia. We're seeing the Russian presence there. Um, also in other news, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has won. It, we we uh, posted on our Israeli News Live uh, Facebook page that it appeared that he may have won. It was a very tight race. Uh, he did come out with 30 seats, the Likud party did and uh, the Labor Party only with 24. So it is official. The Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, has kept his seat as Prime Minister of Israel, and we will be looking to see that he will also keep his promise not to have a two-state solution and not to divide the land further, uh, and, and, and including with the issue with the Vatican, who has taken over Mount Zion already. It, Mount Zion should be taken back as, long, as well as the Temple Mount, and the, the commandments of God that was given to the state of Israel should be enforced, especially in the Old City. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.